This is Paxton. Paxton is a six-year-old little boy who has cerebral palsy. Paxton is a typical little boy at heart, and his power chair gives him the freedom to be just that, a typical little boy. He loves to go mudding and run over people and chase sissy. This gives us um, a lot of independence when we're out doing things as a family. We're not just focused on him. We can enjoy his sister as well, and he can go where he wants to go and look at things he wants to look at, huh? Yeah, you can do things on your own now. Here's Paxton in his zippy power chair, enjoying the beautiful sunshiny day out here at Happy Day School. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 there's another one! Duck! Crash! Oh! <laughs> Paxton loves to take rides down to his Oma's house in his chair, and him and his sister really like to chase after each other. What we started out with is with the head pads flipped to the side, so we're just working on, say, go forward and learning that whole concept of stop and go on command because, say, that's a really important thing, right? And it's really important for Paxton to be able to get to and from his classroom and the front of the school to get on the bus in a set amount of time. So we've worked on, we started, it took more than 15 minutes to get from his classroom to the front door and now he can do that in seven or eight minutes which is a big improvement in just a few months yeah and that way say you're ready for the bus you don't miss the bus we don't want to miss the bus his head tends to go to the right so with the head pads in place he likes to do circles yeah and he really likes the circles but that's why we found that working first on just driving forward was a good way um, for him to learn and he's working on his head control. His head control actually has gotten better since he's had the chair because he has to work on that purposefully, um, lifting his head a little bit. And he has a lot of extensor toning. You'll see that kick in some. Hi, buddy. <laughs> you have to stop. Remember, stop. Good listening. Good job. Okay, now you can go. Go find mommy. Good job. Paxton loves to run in his chair. It's the first time in his life. He's had that ability to actually go where he wanted to go. And he so loves to be outside, like mom said, running with the sister, running with the kids. The faster he goes, he's just a typical boy. The more he loves it. Oh, where are you going? And oh, his head is still mom? his most oh, controlled movement. You get her. Usually he just doesn't have the fine control to use his arms or any other body part to drive. So that's why we chose oh, the head control. Mike. <laughs> Yay. Do you like to go fast, Paxton? Oh, yeah. Do you like to chase your friends at school? Paxton's learning to go all around the school building eventually so he can get on and off the school bus by himself, just like any child would do. Sissy just loves it. She wants to take rides on it. We have a, a special kind of mulch here at the playground. It's called Phi Bar, and so you can actually drive a wheelchair over that surface. It's not like normal mulch. It's cut differently, so he can actually drive up here, and the other side of the play structure is ramped, so he can actually drive up on top. We have to be a little cautious because of his control, <laughs> where he drives on the play structure. <laughs> oh, I'm you're back in the you. trees. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> there you go. All right. So Paxton, do you love your zippy power wheelchair? Do you love to go fast in your power wheelchair, Paxton? Yes. The power chair is kind of like experiencing your child walking or talking or crawling for the first time. It's definitely an experience that's overwhelming and exciting and something new. Seeing your child have some independence for the first time in five, six years is amazing. We've waited a very long time for that, huh?